Welcome back to Arizona Home Tours. We're at Hawes Crossing in Mesa, Arizona from Taylor Morrison. We're gonna be checking out the Redwood model home. Now this two-story home is over 2,900 square feet. You can get it in four to six bedrooms and three and a half to four bathrooms and a two to three car garage. Give you a look here at this elevation you see here. And elevations are Spanish, Tuscan, or Prairie. And the cheapest would be the Spanish, starting at a base price of six eighteen nine ninety. Let's go on and make our way inside. Shut this door behind me. So again, this is the model home. Beautiful entrance soon as you come in. Wide hallways, great ceiling height. You have the stairs take you up to the upper level. Let's go ahead and start right here at this first bedroom before we really get into the rest of the home. So we have your first spare bedroom, pretty good size right here at the front of the home. Give an idea of kind of what that looks like. There is a dresser, so it is not too small. Carpet is gorgeous in here, nice and soft. And great cabinet space too. Now, if you're wondering about incentives, they are offering 5% incentives. Obviously there's use their lender and some other things, but a great incentive to help combat higher rates, a closing costs, depends on how you want to use that money. Nice heavy shower sliding glass door, beautiful tile work here on the floor, and all the way up to the ceiling with a built-in, so great feature there. And I like the tile they've used in this home. Nice big square tiles. I'm sure the construction crew liked putting that down. It's so much nicer than small tile. All right, so we're gonna keep on making our way and we'll head to the right here in a moment. So to the right, you have dining space. Looking out into that gorgeous backyard, your living area, and then your beautiful kitchen. So, and everything just goes really well here. Like I mentioned, the base price here, a little over $600,000. And there are a few quick move-ins available. So depending on when you reach out regarding the quick move-ins, um, things may change. So if you want to see an accurate list, just send me an email and all that contact info is below, and then I'll shoot you over what is available, and also if any of the incentives have changed, because sometimes that happens. So here is the pantry. And then it keeps going. Here's my daughter's, we call this a Harry Potter room. But beautiful, I, I love that it's an actual large enough pantry and not just enough to barely get into and you can't even shut the door. So here's what it looks like if you're staying here, maybe prepping food, doing dishes, looking out onto everyone at the dining room table, sitting out in the living room, watching a movie. But as always, I always like to know, where are you watching this from? Are you here locally in Arizona? Are you from Illinois like we were when we moved here? Uh, it's nice to see some of my viewers from across the pond, some in the UK, even some in Greece. So yes, I do read the comments and I appreciate you watching. But let's give you another peek around. And if there's any other like communities that I haven't shown, price points, um, let me know. Always happy to take that feedback and go create tours based on what it is you want to see. Now, someone left the toilet seat up. It was not me, so I don't want to hear it. But this really is a great, great area. It's actually not too far from my office, and anything you could really want is close by. So we love that. And if you're not familiar with Mesa Gateway Airport, so we have Phoenix International Airport, but the Mesa Gateway Airport is like smaller airlines, like Allegiant Air, for example, and we're from Peoria, Illinois, so having Allegiant right there is great. Uh, even though it's not my favorite airline to fly, 
it's convenient, super cheap, and it's just nice to have right there instead of driving 30 minutes into Phoenix, dealing with the crowds and parking and everything else. So it's nice to have that airport. But that's a pretty cool little feature of that room. All right, let's go upstairs and we're gonna go outside and check out what they've done with the landscaping. So here is your loft, as soon as we make it up to the top. Great space here as well. Now sometimes I'll go in these lofts and there's like no room for anything. Well, this would be perfect. I know for my daughter, it'd be a great spot for them. Their toys, games, hang out. I'll give you another look here at the mountains. You can see out that way. Superstition or straight out ahead. And we're gonna hit the primary bedroom last for up here. The laundry. I love this tile here in laundry rooms. I've also seen some bathrooms that looks really nice. I would like to see maybe a little bit higher end countertop, but in the laundry room, does it really matter? The drawers, the soft clothes, that is always nice to see. And we keep moving, we're going to this bathroom, which they did use that tile. Similar countertop and cabinetry as before. We have a fiberglass surround. You have your window here in the bathroom. And top. Now, like I mentioned in every video, if you're looking to move here, it doesn't have to be just this community, but anywhere in Arizona, you need some guidance, you need some help, reach out. All my contact info is below. Pretty much all of my clients are relocation based because we did the same thing. I understand the process, what goes into it, some of the unknowns, and hopefully help avoid some of the mistakes that we made when it was that we moved here. But I can say this, it was definitely worth it. And here is your other bedroom. There is a dresser in there, albeit small. And you also have nice closet space. So it's really great to see some of the closet space in these spare bedrooms. All right, let's go check out that primary and then we'll go outside. All right, here we go. Beautiful space here. Even room for a chair if you just want to sit and stare at your bed. Hey, there you go. Let's give you another look from this corner. And also there's a process to buying new construction. Um, it may seem overwhelming or frustrating maybe, but it's really, it's, at least it doesn't have to be. It can be a fun process, it can be enjoyable, and get you the home that you want to get. And I always recommend getting a home inspection, even on new builds. I was helping some clients with uh, their new build, and they built from scratch, and the superintendent's like, oh, you don't, you don't need a, a home inspection, we have a third party, it'd really just be a waste of money. And I'm like, no, you, I would still get one, it's worth, you know, relatively inexpensive. And there's always something, anything a human's involved in, there's something immediately fixed. And we didn't, he found plenty of things and we got them addressed. But if we didn't have that home inspection, then they wouldn't have known. So that's why some, I recommend them always. So let's go outside and I'll show you the backyard here. So. <clears throat> So we'll go outside and I'll show you the, really. So these are the model homes and obviously they're done up nicely, but really just to kind of show you 
what the potential looks like. Sometimes when you see just a barren backyard, if you look at like the specs, they don't have any landscaping down the back. It's hard to envision what it could potentially look like. You have your covered patio, and you also have, they've done turf here. In your backyard, when you do go to buy, and if you buy a spec and it says dirt, it doesn't have to be a six-figure project. Turf and pavers is probably more realistic than you think. But let me know what you think of this home. If you have questions, let me know, but make sure you watch next tour. I'll see you next time.